baby that I love Don't fence me in Let me be by myself in the evening breeze Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me off forever but I ask you please Your water start coming up through the toilet Don't fence me in Don't fence me in Your water start coming up through the toilet rain out there oh my gosh that's a lot of rain tons unbelievable that's a lot of rain that's a lot of rain, <laughs> lot of rain. <laughs> i mean i've seen rain <laughs> but that's a lot of rain but have you seen a lot of rain that's that's some rain right jar <laughs> <laughs> what's that song have you ever seen the rain yeah that's a that's a creedence clearwater revival song there mm. kt <laughs> And if they want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Now you can definitively say. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. The water start coming up through the toilet. <laughs> I mean, it's monsoon season anyway. Hey, so I walk in this morning. <laughs> 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 that wasn't me. I walk in this morning and normally I'm, uh, you know, somewhat cautious about uh, my environs as you are normally if you're mm-hmm. downtown and, you know wee hours of the morning, so I uh, walk in, and they're sitting, sitting <laughs> in the foyer, or whatever that is, foyer. <laughs> I'm like acting like in, I'm all French. In the right? rain. In the in rain. rain with a newspaper is none other than, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jim Carafano. Woo-hoo. Look at you, buddy. How yeah. are you? You know, I was in the army for 25 years. I, I was getting a little PTSD there, <laughs> you know, like, sitting out in the dark, in the rain, unarmed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, that is true, actually. Uh, and uh, there's a backstory to that, but we won't have we won't uh, divulge that. But nonetheless, there were you were sitting uh, because you had a wrong number for Pippi and. You know, anyway, you had only been out there a couple yeah. minutes, but still. I would walk on broken glass to come to the Jamie Almond show. Love well, it. Well, I'm, I'm actually reading that. It's written right here. It says, <laughs> I would walk. <laughs> Tonight is the big night, the Almond in the Evening show down at Forest Park at the Norman Probstein Golf Course Clubhouse right there in beautiful Forest Park. And it is going to be great. It's going to be Jim Carafano. It's going to be Jim Talent. And we had just learned uh, that Genevieve Wood cannot make it in the wake mm-hmm. of a certain level of tumult there at Heritage as the board ran Jim DeMinn out of there. And there's an interesting article about that whole thing that is curious, to say the least. And, you know, I don't think I ever sent you guys my email from last night that had a bunch of things on it. So I, I'm going to have to go ahead and... But it's interesting because the, the backstory there, I, I don't know whether you could even really uh, talk about this, uh, Jim Carafano. Can you in any way, shape, or form talk about this, what happened with Jim DeMint? Can you talk? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, Heritage is a, a, you know, a non-profit, non-partisan um, institution. I mean, you know, we're, we have a board... Uh, uh, um, we we have a a, a board and and the, the institutions uh, accountable to the board. So, um, you know, board I think has been pretty straightforward about this. I don't think there's any. any there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of wacky press, but you know I've come to expect a lot of wacky press on virtually everything. But but I think the board's been been pretty open and and, and transparent about it. So yeah, we can talk about it. Well, the Washington Post did a whole story about it, and it's headlined, "What's the story behind the Heritage Meltdown?" And it talked about Jim DeMint, and it talked about how it was he was political or something. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I ran through it. <laughs> so, oh my God, this is what it I love about. No, sense to this me. is what I love about the Washington Post because they are so on it all the time. They have figured out that a senator, former senator and congressman, is political. Man, that right. is, that is that's Woodward and Bernstein stuff there. Well, they 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 said that there was a concern that the Heritage Foundation was no longer as intellectual as it should be, and I have to tell you personally, and I I know you can't really divulge necessarily every personal aspect of how you feel about the situation, but I thought Demint was doing a very good job 
And, and, and I do believe that there was some concern maybe about the the political action committee having or the political action arm having an influence on heritage itself. But still, I thought he was doing a really good job. Yeah. Uh, but, so, look, I mean, first of all, Jim DeMint's a, a great American. He is a great leader. He is a great conservative. He was a great conservative before he came to Heritage. He was a great leader for the conservative. While he was there, he will continue to be an amazing leader for the conservative movement. Um, so we could. So that's just a fact. And I love Jim DeMint, and uh, and he loves everybody at Heritage, and uh, and that's a fact. Uh, you know, we could talk about what it's not. You know, this notion that somehow it has something to do with the research. That's just nuts. I've been at Heritage for 15 years. I was doing research 15 years ago, and and actually we do better research now. And you know, on my you know, I do the foreign policy and defense stuff. Yeah. I hired 99.9 percent of the people that work for me. This is the finest research team on the planet. My my Korea analyst has been analyzing Korea for 30 years, over 30 years. Wow. 20 years in the 10 years at the, at the Defense Intelligence Agency and then he had a career at the Central Intelligence Agency and then he's maybe he's probably met more North Korean officials more frequently than than US government officials. He everybody in South Korea and the government has him on his Rolodex. Uh, he is the most trusted and knowledgeable Korean. My my analyst that does South Asia was just snatched away from me to work on the National Security Council. So the notion that somehow the research is an issue that that's ludicrous, you know, on its face. Right. And, you know, an argument that you know, well, we, they were too pro-Trump. I mean, that's just kind of nuts because, you know, we we call balls and strikes. That's what Heritage does as right. an institution. That's what gives us our credibility. I mean, the argument that we were anti-Trump. That's kind of nuts because you know myself and about thirty other people actually helped down the presidential right. transition right. team. So you know, so when you when you kind of take away all the kind of nutty talk and and you know, Heritage does have a lobbying arm, and the job of the lobbying arm, which is a, a five zero, it's called a five zero one C four. It's right. also actually a nonpartisan activity. But the, and what they lobby, lobby for is the ideas of Heritage. Right. So if we have ideas on what healthcare should be or what foreign policy should be, that's what they're lobbying on. So um, so, uh, I mean, I just uh, just virtually every article I've read in the paper is just nuts. So when you when you see, for instance, the Washington Post article, this is crap. You're, you're just thinking to yourself, <laughs> I can't say that uh, on the that, air. Well, I also have my own opinion about the board, and I, I have a feeling that some of them are not as they're. I some. I think some of them are not as conservative as Jim Demint is. No, I think some I of them yeah. don't no, like no. No, don't Trump. Think, no, I, well, no, I don't think that's that's just not correct. Oh, okay. look, I I. What do I, I know? I, that's, well, that's you know. Look, I've known this board since I I've been there. You know, and the and uh, and uh, I know all the board members. And the board's only interested in one thing, which is what's what's the best for heritage. Right. And it's uh um it it was never. It's not a political thing. It's not even a thing really about Jim. It's it, you know heritage is not just a think tank. It's an institution. You know, with hundreds of people, and and we have the Daily Signal, which is. Uh, a media outlet and we have the lobbying. It's a lot of stuff to run. And, uh, you know, honestly, th that's what they're concerned about is how the, you know, the institution has to be run, not just now, not just today, but 10, 15 years from now, it has to endure over time. And so when they make leadership decisions, you know, these people all come from business backgrounds, uh, you know, from leadership of NGO institutions. And, 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 and it's really a question of just what they want for the management of the institution. It's, it's not, even, you know, really about Jim as a conservative, you know, you got to give Heritage a lot of credit. I mean, this was a bold move. They had the same president for over 30 years and they wanted a leader to to really put the stamp on Heritage as a conservative institution into the 21st century. And Jim DeMint did a great job at that. I mean, Heritage has never been more influential right. than we have been the last couple of years. And uh, look, even the Trump administration, let's be honest, not every, you know, I don't think Trump is as hard as a conservative. He's just a realistic guy. He's trying to run the government as best he can, keep the country free, safe, and prosperous. Somebody's got an idea that's going to make the country better. Trump's like, yeah, give me that thing, right? Right. So it's like, you know, we, you know you've seen our defense index, right, that we do every year. We, every year we grade the, the defense on, on how capable they are so people can see from year to year whether the military is actually getting better or worse relative to the threats we have in the world. 
when I, when I the first time I briefed Trump, I brought a copy index with me, and I was saying, you know, well, we have the, if you want to understand the military, we have this index, and he goes, give me that thing. <laughs> <laughs> he took it out of my hand, <laughs> and I've never seen my copy again. So, um, right. well, so that, I mean, that's yeah. what we're really about, and the, and that's what the board's about. Right. As yeah. you point out with. President Trump. President Trump wasn't elected based on a previous template anyway. So this idea somehow that Trump has to be like somebody else or right. like a traditional conservative that we've because Americans by the time 2016 rolled around had been there, done that with both of the templates and it wasn't working for them for whatever reason. And so that's why President Trump is, is President Trump. So you heard Jim Carafano talk about his experts on North Korea on Southeast Asia. That kind of expertise as we head into tonight and Almond in the evening is what you're going to see in full flourish down there at Forest Park. Yes, Jim Can Carifano. I make one prediction? Yes. Ten years from now, when I come back on this show and you're in your in your chair with the tubes and, your, and, <laughs> and the, the bags tubes. and stuff and, you know, and, and your caregiver there, um, <laughs> you know, Jim DeMitt will, will still be one of the great leaders of the American conservative movement, yeah. and the Heritage Foundation will be one of the great idea factories I in agree. this country. I agree. I, like, I really I do uh, like Jim DeMitt, so uh, Godspeed to him, and I'm, I'm sure he'll wind up uh, just fine. Thank you very much. All right, coming up, by the way, do you know Ann Wagner voted no on the spending bill? So lots of people happy about that, and she's going to be joining us at 735. Also, Jim Talent, who's going to be on with us this, this evening as well, is going to be with us. And, of course, it's going to be the usual hit with Chris Wallace and Kennedy. And also, we're going to break down – you guys didn't hear, I probably, because it's not being played on the news, the entire exchange between Senator Feinstein and FBI Director Comey. And when you listen to the entire exchange, you will realize something that I do not believe other people have realized about the emails, about Hillary Clinton, about the timing, about everything else. So we're going to follow up with that, and we're going to go ahead and play you every part of that. It's not very long. It's just that people, I could notice that people have picked and choosed certain parts of that exchange to play, depending on their point of view. But if you listen to it all, you'll see why they're picking it apart, because they don't want to hear or play certain parts of it, and we'll follow up on that. I'm excited. I want to hear that. Oh, yeah. Don't go, don't go, folks. Oh, do not go because away. We'll all be surprised. <laughs> my, my biggest ally in the whole tease <laughs> genre. Oh, that was a tease? Jim Carafano. <laughs> That's what a tease is? Yes. <laughs> I am learning so much here. I am so glad I came. <laughs> Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.